Hello YouTube, this is Enlightenment Games, and today I'm going to be doing a new series. Um, I'm, I'm, this is going to be like a tutorial video on how to make an RPG horror game. And I'm going to be using RPG, me, RPG Maker VX Ace, even though I know that RPG Maker MV is out, but um, uh, better late than never. And um, if I ever do get RPG Maker MV down the line i also do a tutorial video on this but i just want to focus on mv ace since um it's still um relevant and i know not a lot of people have um mv yet um specifically me i'm waiting for when it gets a price drop <coughs> but um today i'm just going to show you a basic of um how to make an rpg horror and to get today's video, it's just going to be showing you how to set up um, uh, our character, uh, give it like a like a map, and um, even showing to um, showing how to like transfer and whatnot. And along down the line, we'll show you tips and tricks of how to, how I made it, like I uh, made an RPG Maker. So to get started, to open up uh, RPG Maker and create a new f uh, new project. And I'll put a link in the description for RPG Maker, the download link. But um, to first get started making a project, um, specifically RPG Maker Horror, I recommend first going online, um, reading about like RPG Maker itself, and looking at some projects and examples of how to make a, just a basic RPG. Because RPG Horror, I feel like is like you're supposed to know. The pro uh, the program itself and what it's meant for before uh, to go and tackle like other things like making like a horror game and just to get um, started as an overview is the t uh, tabs on top they're pretty much self explan uh, self explanatory you have your new projects your open projects your save projects then you got your maps events region we're not gonna be really using region. Then you got like your pencil, um, the highlights of how to put like tiles, foam, flood fill, shadow pen, then you got the different sizes, um, database which has all of your um, assets um, used, which is like classes, um, actors, tile sets, etc. Then resource manager is where you import, export all of your different um tiles uh characters music files sound effects movie files etc then you got your script editor which is self-explanatory you have all your scripts and hopefully um by each video um i'm probably going to show you like maybe some things you can change within some of these scripts like um the title screen or even the main not the main menu the pause menu um, since it's an RPG horror, we're not going to be using stuff like armor or weapons, um, etc. But for now, this is just like the script editor. You can add, um, remove uh, scripts. Then you got yourself um, sound test, which is just to test out the sounds, the background music, sound effects. Um, you know, it's really self-explanatory. Then character generator um, is to generate characters. Um, there's that. So. So first, when you um, start a new project, you have this box where if you right click in the bottom, you have like a new map. So we're going to go ahead and create a new map. Um, since um, an RPG horror, um, one of the examples I'm probably going to use is like um, like a forest because generally um, forests like appear a lot in horror games and they have the right atmosphere. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this forest and I can even put a display main forest. Um, let's go ahead and make it bigger um, to add the width. Um, make it long. Then give it some height. And should be good. And we'll um, deal with like background music and sound effects later on. Well, after that. You have something like this, which um, let me go ahead and quickly change the width and shorten maybe the height. So that looks better. And so one of the things I forgot um, to show is that 
who was supposed to change the tile set since um this is a forest is going to be used like a lot of exterior um don't get confused with field since it's like rpg maker you can create world maps and and horror and rpg horror game we don't really have horror maps except if you want to make like a a map on the top screen um to use that but it's still com something completely different i'm going to go ahead and like give like a basic um layout so like grass um probably going to add some trees um let's use the rectangle highlight just give it like a bit of um something like this add something like that um finish all the way um one of the things I kind of recommend is that if you're making RPG horror um it's best if you create your own tiles your own music etc because um you can use like the pre assets the RPG maker has but um you're very limited and since like the theme of this is like medieval um you really are you really can't make like a proper horror um game uh, let's go ahead maybe like I guess decorate a little bit more like maybe let's put um, not a fence but like um, a sign put something like that and we'll probably add some text um, let's go ahead and build something here um, maybe like a house or maybe like a log cabinet maybe let's do a log cabinet um, remove this Let's say maybe something like this. Um, and we'll probably come up with a story. Maybe um, this cabinet belonged to some friends. Um, there was probably noise outside, and or um, the let's say like a group of kids um heard some noises. They went outside. Then his friends, whatever, maybe got lost and um they probably went to go check it out or something so yeah um let's add some windows um well this really is limited put something like this and then um uh do we have a door hmm. Okay, let's use something like this, like an entrance. Yeah, that would do. And then, um, I guess we can go ahead and also, um, actually, let's use this. Uh, make a new map. Make this in the inside. This is, call it inside. Um, since the inside, let's use an interior. Press OK. And we're gonna probably just make a basic log cabinet. Um, let's see, since the log cabinet, let's use this, um, then the flood fill, make something like basic, and then we can go ahead and put this even, okay, and one thing is that, uh, since it's an RPG horror, um, and it's something like, uh, like the woods and stuff I'm gonna show you how to um change the lighting also so that um you can make it from day to evening to night to like early morning um let's see give it some outside windows um actually is that some barrels or something no oops I will add some barrels, um, food cart, maybe something like bucket. Uh, let's add like maybe like a bed or two. Um, we can even go as far as like adding a carpet. Just use the rectangle. Uh, bar, and then give it like a 
like a carpet and also let's go ahead and add a front wall um, you can make this any way you, you prefer I'm just like doing it so it looks decent um, oops, let's make it like this that's fine um well it kinda looks fancy for a cabinet but um and it's, it's I guess uh if it's a cabinet let's give it some bed maybe a bed or two I'll probably fix this um after this video I'll probably make it more decent um I don't know, add a fireplace, but it's, you, you get the idea. Um, and then let's go ahead and make a character. Um, hair type, uh, that's fine, but let's see, yeah, give it, give him like a sweater or something, neck. No, um, Hmm. That's fine. Um I guess changes um his hair, uh I don't know, ice color green. It's whatever, um I'm not gonna spend too much time. You can go ahead and customize them anyway. So let's um yeah, I made a uh, another character but um, I'm gonna just say override it. Let's call him Tom. In the file, yep. Replace it. Same thing. Put it like that. Yes, replace it. And like to output faces is really to um give it so that um a face appears whenever like someone is speaking. And I prefer to do it because you help like distinguish who's talking in a conversation. But you don't necessarily have to, you can just put like their names, but um, I find it more convenient that way. Um, so then let's go ahead and put our character here for a starting position. Put the player here and let's let's um put a transfer. So right click, quick event creation, transfer. Uh, let's transfer him to outside. Have him look down, and then copy and paste it, just like that. And let's go ahead and have him so when he goes inside, he can come back, go in and out the home um, place, the cabinet anytime he wants. And when he spawns, he looks up. It's just kind of easy, self-explanatory. That and the same thing would apply. Okay, and one of the things I want to do quickly, um, just to end this video, is um, what you call it? Um, just probably make a a new map. Let's call it forest. Um, huh. Let's make it so that um, since it's a forest, let's make it into like a maze sort of. So um, the character has to go through some um, like a lost forest. Um, and let's say it's like he hears his friends and whatnot. But like, let's say if he chooses the wrong path, he um ends up back in the starting position. That'll probably be interesting and make a exterior give it like a width and a height yeah 32 by 32 that's fine but yeah um and then we'll just connect them from there but yeah this is just like you know just to get off the feet um and actually one more thing let's play test it to see <laughs> That's a little loud. We'll fix the. We'll do um 
remove like the picture and even the sound and the music. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, and I also have to change the character. Which actually, let me do that quickly. Oh, Tom, soldier. Characters or group who went through the camping. Yeah. And to change starting character, go to system, and it's not Eric who's the actor. Put Tom, and he should appear. And yeah, um, hold up. Oh yeah, and B2W, um, RPG Maker doesn't have like a custom window set, so it, um, it has trouble loading. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Really simple. Um, this is just a, I want to say the tip of the iceberg. But there's a lot more things you can do, and it it gets interesting down the line when you start using like um, RPG Maker for its um to turn into a horror aspect rather than its um actual intentions. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, write anything in the comments. Dislike. Um, leave feedback. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.